Every year in Jerusalem, on the eve of Orthodox Easter Sunday, Jesus Christ shows up inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre during the ceremony of holy fire. Christ is present, but only the blue incandescent light of his eternal glory is visible. Thousands of Christians from all over the world have traveled to Jerusalem and cram inside the church on Holy Saturday, waiting in anticipation for the light which will turn to fire on a holy oil lamp that is sitting on the rock bed where Christ was laid upon his death. Occasionally, the light of Christ will spontaneously light candles of individual pilgrims in the church, or even candles that are hanging outside the edicule. During the ceremony, the Greek Orthodox Patriarch enters the shrine which is built over top the cave tomb, and kneeling beside the bed where Christ was laid, he prays an ancient prayer that has been passed down to him. When the holy light turns to fire on the lamp, he lights two sets of 33 candles each that he's brought into the tomb with him and which commemorate the years of Christ's life. With the candles lit, he exits the edicule and the crowded church erupts in celebration. Christian pilgrims then light their candles from the patriarchs and the fire spreads throughout the church, throughout the city of Jerusalem, and literally around the world. Local Christians who attend the ceremony will carry the flame to their homes and churches in Jerusalem. Special emissaries will carry the flame in special boxes on planes back to their home countries where the fire will then spread from church to church. What's even crazier than this ceremony is that most Christians in the West have never heard of it. My name is Nate Carden, and by the grace of God, I've been able to attend the ceremony both in 2017 and again in 2018. I've spent the last three years of my life researching the history of this miracle and this most important of churches. And I'm convinced that not knowing about this ceremony as a Christian is the equivalent of a Muslim having never heard of the annual pilgrimage to the Kaaba in Mecca. The miracle of holy fire only parallels the greater miracle of Christ's resurrection from the dead. I believe in the miracle of holy fire because I believe in the evidence that Christ was crucified on a rock called Golgotha and that he was buried in a cave tomb that couldn't hold him and that both are found within this same church. Learning the history of the holy fire ceremony and the church in which it happens will make Christ's resurrection as real to you as if it only happened yesterday. It has for me. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, head on over to JesusAcademy.com where you'll find more in-depth and curated content on the tomb of Christ and the miracle of holy fire.